How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Wi-Fi battle. Today is the second time using this Flareon team, so hopefully it goes well. If you want to battle me, join the Discord server in the description, and please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. With that being said, let's find ourselves a game. Okay, we found our opponent Alto, also known as Alto Maverick on the Discord server, so go ahead and join the Discord server, it's the best place to get a battle. Gotta, can't stress that enough. Anyway, anyway, they've got a pretty cool looking team, they've got a Cresselia, a Magnezone Weavile, Infernape Nidoking, and a Zapdos. It's gonna be a tough one to break through. Um, I can see Swampert doing some decent work here. I mean, you know, the, the Nidoking, we could probably tank it from that. Uh, the Magnezone as well, the Weavile, the um, Infernape as well. Um, Swamp. Swampert's going to be putting in the work, let's just say that. I can look at their team though and I'm thinking Infernape lead, potentially, or Nidoking, because Nidoking does a lot of damage to my whole team. So Nidoking definitely could be the lead. Um, I think Hitmonchan is a good is a good lead, to be honest with you. I think Hitmonchan's a great lead. And the battle begins, so Alto's going to lead off with Ty Lee, the Weavile, which means Hitmonchan was the perfect lead. So that's great, that's great news that is. So we're, we're off to a good start. Um, we are going to outspeed this thing. We are choice scarfed. So we can just go straight for a close combat real quick and def definitely take this thing out. But I highly doubt they stay in. But we'll still go for the close combat anyway, just just because why not? They are going to withdraw, of course. They're going to go into Cresselia, I would guess. Or Zapdos. Big Bird. Yep, that's Big Bird over there. The Zapdos. The Galarian color scheme is pretty cool, I must say. Close combat is going to do a nice little dent to it, though. Hopefully we don't get static, though. That'd be very frustrating. We don't, we just get the defense drops, of course, as normal. So that's great. So Close Combat did a lot of damage to that Zapdos, I've got to say. Did a lot of damage. A good third of its health, so that's pretty great. Um, they're probably going to go for a Volt Switch or a U-Turn, I would say. But I don't see any reason not to go into Cena, the uh, Bastion on it. can pretty much wall Zapdos in this generation. Because if you didn't know, Zapdos doesn't get Heat Wave or Hurricane in BDSP, which sucks for it big time. There we go, we're going to withdraw real quick. Like I said, they're probably going to go for a Volt Switch or a U-Turn, uh, one of the two, I would say. So getting up Stealth Rocks is going to be pretty important. They actually go for an Aerial Ace. They were going for the KO. Wow, okay. So this is looking like a physical Zapdos, which is an interesting play. Um, not seen that one before. Uh, we'll go for a Stealth Rocks. We'll just get them up straight away. I know this thing can carry Defog, but it forces them to go for a Defog, which gives us a free turn to do something. So they are going to withdraw the Big Bird. They're probably going to go into Nidoking or Infernape. Banana head. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> I was thinking that'd be an Infernape because it's a monkey and they like bananas and stuff like that, but... Nope, Cresselia comes in. So Cresselia is definitely going to be doing some calm mindy stuff. So let's get a taunt off on it because we don't want it to do that. There's the light screen. That is not what we wanted to see. Definitely didn't want to see that. So we'll get a taunt off anyway. There we go. Solid taunt. This kind of actually forces them to switch out. If they were going to switch out here, they were going to Infernape or Nidoking. So let's follow suit and we'll go into Swampert real quick. Because they're not going to stay in an attack Bastiodon. Yeah, they're going to withdraw the Banana Head, hopefully into Infernape or Nidoking. King Boomy. That's the uh, Nidoking. Okay, cool. So this worked out pretty nicely for us. So um, as I anticipated that, we go into Swampert real quick. Swampert's definitely a good answer to Nidoking and Infernape. 100 billion percent is it. Um, we've already got Stealth Rocks up, so I'm thinking we go for an EQ. Um, I'm also thinking they, goes, they could go Zapdos as well. I mean, they could go back to Cresselia, because Cresselia's obviously got um, that whole thing going for it. Let's go for an Avalanche, just because I'm, I'm expecting them to actually attack us for some reason. They are going to withdraw. Okay, what are they going to go into? Zapdos or Cresselia? Ty Lee? That's the Weavile. Okay, Weavile's probably not the best Pokemon to switch into a Swampert, um, I would say. Avalanche isn't going to do too much damage, but it means the next turn we can go for an EQ on this thing, um, which will definitely do a lot of damage. Um, Knockoff is probably coming my way. I'm guessing, by the way, they've brought the Weavile in. So let's go for the EQ real quick. They are going to withdraw again, and they're going to go into Cresselia. Zuko. Really? Huh. They must have over... I think they were overthinking and thought we were going to switch out. But no. Definitely not going to do that. I'm going to go straight for an EQ and take you out. So Infernape's out of the way. That's perfect. Perfect. Infernape is such a big threat. It's just great to get that out of the way early. Definitely great to get that out of the way early. Banana Head comes back in. So 
See, I would have brought Granana Head in anyway. That, that, that would be my go-to switch. I mean, it can't really do too much against us, if, especially if it's a screens variant. Um, I'm thinking we go for a Skull, try and get the burn on it. Or no, it's probably going to go for a Reflect. So we can just probably go into Venus. No, Venus is not a good switch here. We haven't really got too much to deal with Cresselia. I've got to be honest. Not too much to deal with Cresselia at all. Um... I want to keep Swampert for the Nido King and the Weavile, I guess, and the Magnezone, I guess. Uh, let's go into Venusaur. I don't think they'll go for a Psychic here. I think they go for a Reflect. So we'll go into Venusaur. We'll get a Sleep Powder off, and then we'll get a Leech Seed off. There we go. It would bring in the Big Frog. They go for the Reflect, of course, as expected. And uh, we can just go for a Sleep Powder here. I think Sleep Powder is definitely a great option against Cresselia. We should outspeed as well. I mean, I'm fully defensive, but we should still outspeed this Cresselia. They are going to withdraw the Banana Head. Are they going to go Weavile or Zapdos? Or, yeah, Big Bird, the Zapdos. Putting this thing to sleep is going to be great. That's for sure. Absolutely great. So, Stone's going to dig in. We go for a Sleep Powder. We missed the Sleep Powder, unfortunately. However, I'm going to expect them to go for a Defog. And I'm going to try and go for another Sleep Powder. So, hopefully that works out for us. We'll go for another Sleep Powder. They are going to withdraw the big bird, obviously expecting us to switch out. And they're going to go into King Boomy, which is the Nido King. Interesting. So getting a Sleep Powder off on that is going to be great. There we go. We actually hit the Sleep Powder as well, which is perfect. Boom. King Boomy is fell, fell asleep. I don't know who King Boomy is. I'm sorry. I'm not very cultured. Um, Right. Trying to think what my answer here to... um. Nido King is. I think I'll go straight for a Leaf Storm. It won't do too much damage because of the light screen being up, but it'll still do some damage to it, which is always really useful against the Fright Light Nido King. So, Leaf Storm does barely any damage to it, which is a shame. So I think actually... Oh, a light screen just wore off. I should have gone for Leech Seed and then Leaf Storm. Oh well. Um, I'm starting to think they're going to stay in. Hmm. They go for a, a, a either a Sludge Wave or a Flamethrower, right? I think they go for Fire Move, though. I think they definitely go for a Fire Move. Let's go ahead. We stay in. Leech Seed this thing. Let's just stay in and Leech Seed. Screw it. Yeah, the fast asleep still. That's fine. Don't miss. There we go. We don't miss the Leech Seed, which is great. So we get Leech Seed off. I should have done that first instead of... I should have done that before I gone for the Leaf Storm. But it's fine. So going for Leaf Storm again will actually do the same amount of damage as it did before, thanks to the light screen not being there. So we'll go for another Leaf Storm. Um, if they wake up and KO us with a Fire Flamethrower, then, you know, so be it. But I don't think it'll KO. They actually woke up this turn and they're going to go for a Sludge Wave, which won't KO us. It shouldn't KO us anyway. Now we're able to tank that like a boss. Go for a Leaf Storm. That should definitely do a lot of damage. There we go. And I think Leech Sea KOs from here. Not 100% sure on that. I think it does. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. There we go. It does get the KO with the Leech Seed. That's perfect. So Nidoking goes down. So we've got two of the big threats of their team, Infernape and Nidoking. We've got them both out of the way with the combination of Venusaur and Swampert. That's great. Right, in comes Big Bird. The Zapdos now. Zapdos is a tough one here because Aerial Ace will probably KO us from here. Um, Stone Edge is... Stones are doing really well here, though. Um, whitt whittling away at them really well. Let's go into Bastiodon. Bastiodon seems like a solid switch into Zapdos. There we go. We're going to switch out into Bastiodon. And I appreciate my opponent not taking ages to pick their moves, like yesterday's Battle Log. <laughs> I still can't get over it. So Aerial Ace is doing nothing to us. Um, we are fully specially defensive. We've got no physical investment. But Bastiodon on both defenses is extremely high. Really high defenses. Um, I think what we can do here, we can go straight for a Stone Edge. Um, I don't think going for Metal Burst is worth it. They go for a Discharge. We're going to eat that like it's nothing. Oh, nummy, nummy, nummy. Paralysis does set in. Hopefully it doesn't play an effect here. We go for the Stone Edge, take out the Stone, the Big Bird. We've got Bashed on to do some good work here. So Zapdos goes down. We are paralyzed, which is unfortunate. And now they can just go into Magnezone if they want to. Um, Magnezone can trap us and it can just fire Thunderbolt swords left, right and center. So that's unfortunate. In comes Ty Lee, which is the Weavile. So Weavile has probably got a fighting type move here, which will definitely take us out. Um, wondering whether I should stay in or not. I don't think I should, but I don't really have a good switch. Um, Venusaur could be useful if we can leech seed the Cresselia. 
I'm trying to think what we what, what we need and what we don't need here. Let's just stay in and go for a Metal Burst. They might just go for an Ice Cold Crash or a Knock Off. They go for a Throat Chop, which doesn't do enough damage. Metal Burst going to come through. Is that going to KO? Yes, it is. Bastiodon claiming lives out here. Yeah, because sometimes sometimes you do see Weavile that fall, uh, uses Brick Break, but I'm guessing that's not the case in this case. They've probably opted for Poison Jab um, for the Fairy types. Right, Doctor Doom comes in. That is the Magna Zone. Unfortunately for us, we are likely trapped by the Magnet Pull, um, which is a shame, which means Bastiodon, this is your final resting place, unfortunately. So we'll go for a Metal Burst anyway, even though it's not going to do anything, because um, they're definitely going to take us out this turn. They go for a Flash Can, and that's going to take us out. Easy peasy, Lemon Squeezy, Bastiodon goes down. Uh, but this is a great opportunity for us to get Flareon in, um, because Flareon, Guts Boosted, is going to do a lot of work here. It's definitely going to do a lot of work. So we're going to Flareon now. Boom. We get Calcifer in the Flareon. Looking fine over there. It's Black Fur. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So we'll go straight for a Flare Blitz. It should take out this um, Magna Zone, to be honest with you. Definitely should. They actually have to withdraw and go into their Cresselia, which is an interesting one. Um, Cresselia is very bulky, so it can definitely take a Flare Blitz pretty well. Uh, after Stealth Rocks, though... The Flare Blitz, I think, yeah, two it KOs. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure f um, Cresselli has not got the best defense in the world. Um, he's got a good defense, but he's much better on special defense. So we'll go for another Flare Blitz. That'll definitely take out the um, Cresselia. Boom. Just like so. And I'm guessing, by the way, they withdrew the Magnezone, that the Magnezone is actually scarfed. Or choice specs, maybe. I'm going to guess Scarfed, otherwise they wouldn't have done what they've just done. There's Doctor Doom, the Magma Zone coming. That's a really cool nickname, Doctor Doom. I like that. I do like that nickname. Very cool nickname. Um, Right. Let's go for a Flare Blitz. Should do a solid amount of damage to the Magma Zone. There we go. We should actually take out the Magma Zone, to be honest with you. It's got us boosted. Yep, there we go. Flareon cleans up the game. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the game. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.